Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good today. So in today's video, I actually wanted to, you know, film this for such a long time. Uh, I got some Inside Cosmetics makeup products and I have already tried some of their makeup products. I have like a box full of them and Inside Cosmetics is such an affordable brand and I it's not like I have I don't like the makeup I do really like some of the makeup that I have tried in the past and these are so affordable so I really wanted to you know try these out once and on in front of the camera so that you guys can see how it works or not and yeah it's going to be like a first impression kind of like a try on haul I got all of these inside cosmetics uh, products from Amazon and yeah uh, you can get them from their own site as well but since I love to shop from Amazon I got these from Amazon and yeah without further ado let's get started also if you are someone who's seeing me for the first time thank you so much for hanging out with me you can subscribe down below in the subscribe button and also ring on the notification bell if you like the vibe here uh, so without further ado let's get started so I actually do not have a primer from Inside Cosmetics. That is because they have a poreless kind of a primer, the silicone type of primer, which to be very honest, I don't use that that those type of primers. So just getting a primer would be a waste of, of money for me. So I just applied a moisturizer and then we are going to go in with the foundation. Now this is the foundation. This is the Inside Ultra 10 Second Skin Long Wear Foundation. Now I have already done a full on review on this, like a dedicated review on this quite months few months back and I absolutely love this foundation so much. I don't know why I got this uh, from Nykaa without thinking anything but I did not even think that this is this is going to look so beautiful on the skin. It is to be honest one of my favorite foundations. Uh, the sh shade selection obviously is so bad. Uh, when it comes to these kinds of makeup the shade is just too bad. I, I cannot even like say how bad this shade range is. I guess there is like four or five shades in this foundation line but this foundation looks really like second skin so i'm going to apply this foundation directly on my face i'm not going to use any primer today so what i like to do is this pump also doesn't work to be very honest this this pump doesn't work at all so i'll just put this like so on my skin um to, i mean i really love how this foundation looks on the skin but I don't like the way I have to apply it. So this foundation doesn't have that much of coverage. So I don't like to use a sponge with this. Either I will use a brush or I use my fingers. To be honest, fingers work so great with these kind of foundation that doesn't have much coverage. They are like just kind of like a skin tint kind of a thing. So this is how the foundation is looking you guys I just love this foundation and you can clearly see why I love it it just is a dewy uh, such a dewy look it gives such a dewy look and also it looks very natural on the skin I will zoom you guys in once I put on the concealer so that it's easier for you guys to see how it looks up close but yeah it looks very natural and as you guys saw I blended this with my finger so it doesn't have any you know patch marks it doesn't look patchy or anything as such uh, I forgot to say that say that I'm in the shade 03 on in this foundation so I have two concealers this is the new concealer that I got from inside cosmetics and I have this concealer as you can see I have already used some of this concealer so this is the concealer I had from them this is very very uh, low coverage so I got this but look at the shade of this concealer this looks like Donald Trump's concealer to be very honest with you guys I don't know how I'm going to put this on my skin because this looks like a mix between orange and a yellow concealer mixed in together it, it's not even a color corrector because it doesn't have orange tones to it I mean it cannot be used as that and I don't know if I can use this as a as a concealer alone because this is purely the color of uh, 
orange and a yellow concealer mixing together so i just don't know but i got this in this haul this is very new to me so i haven't tried this or tested this out yet this exactly looks like the la girl concealer so that is why i got it because i have the la girl hd pro concealer now that is why i got it this is exactly exactly a dupe definitely the shade is not a dupe so i'm just going to press this out um i'm kind of scared to press it out I don't know what's happening it's not really coming out that much but think this will work i don't know okay so this happened i was pressing it very hard so uh, the concealer kind of leaked from this bottom part um so there is like a concealer on my hand right now uh so the packaging of this concealer is not really great at all i can at least say that uh, well the formula I don't know yet so I'm going to blend this with my beauty blender and see how it works or not okay to be very honest the concealer shade wasn't so bad <laughs> Yeah, the formula is also not that bad. Uh, I'm putting another layer of it because I had some concealer left right here. So I'm going to put this. So this is how my skin is looking. I will zoom you guys in so that you can see how the concealer and the foundation is sitting on my skin. So to be very honest, I like how it's looking on my skin, but this part is looking a little yellowish. Um, I don't mind it because obviously it's not looking bad. Um, I do like the foundation, you guys know. I'll keep on testing the concealer to see if I really like it or not. So the next thing I got is this one. This is a duo stick two in one uh, conceal and contour. So this is actually a highlight and contour, not a conceal and contour because it has one side, it has a highlighter and one side it has this uh, contour color. So I got the shade 02 and at first I thought it was going to be like a highlight thing but then uh, like it has shimmer on this side, it has like a shimmer kind of thing to it and on this side there is the concealer, uh, I mean the contour Thing. so i am going to use this as like a bronzer and this one as a highlighter like cream highlighter so i'm going to use this as uh, directly on my face here this feels creamy on the first swipe let's see how this blends out going to take an angled brush like this and try to blend this out Okay, so I really love how the contour is looking. Mm, it blended out really, really well. I do have to say that. But the only thing is that the color kind of looks a little pinkish. I mean, it's warm uh, as a bronzer. I really do like it. But it looks very pink kind of a situation. Like right here, I can see that it looks quite pink, which I don't want my bronzer to look like but i really do love how this is sitting on my skin it's not looking patchy it's not looking weird or anything as such yeah the color is a little off but you know we can make it work i do like the bronzer shade now let's 
move on with the blush and and i'm directly going to go in with the highlight later on so i'm just using this dr earth blush that i have used before i'm just going to place that on my cheeks here now i'm going to go in with the highlight side now swatching this highlight actually looks good to be very honest this kind of looks like uh, it's going to be a good highlighter so we'll see how this works because i am in need of a cream highlighter anyway so if this works i am going to be the happiest person in the world today so let's just try it out so this is how i typically like to apply cream highlighters i'll just take this cream highlighter with my sponge and apply it yeah this looks so good this highlighter i mean obviously there is a dewy foundation going on by base but the highlighter actually looks good and i really really love this highlighter so much um i will show a swatch of both of them to you guys so that you can see how the shade and everything looks like up close but this one as you can see it has this brown cool undertone to it this bronzer but this bronzer actually turns out a little pink style so that's a little weird to be honest but the highlighter amazing so now i will move in with my eyes i will prime my eyes and yeah i have a liquid eyeshadow which I, i'm not that good when it comes to liquid eyeshadow to be very honest but this is the this eyeshadow i really wanted to buy so i'm just going to prime my eyes put a little bit of brown on the crease and then i'm going to come back so i did put a little bit of brown on my crease right here a little bit of brown and a peachy tone uh so this is what i'm going to be using this is the inside metalist glitter eyeshadow and it's in the shade 09 enchanted now this shade is so beautiful this is like a kind of like a duochrome green and has a little bit of glow golden reflex to it so i really like it although i swatched it and i do think that this is going to be very very uh you know on the sheer side it definitely isn't too pigmented right off the bat i noticed that that this isn't too pigmented but i hope i i this looks good uh this is more so meant to be used as like a base for another shimmer shadow on top so let's see if i have to use this as a base or it can do the uh, trick alone so we'll see how that goes so i'll zoom you guys in this is how the eyeshadow is looking it is definitely uh very pretty but um it's very very thin i would say it's definitely not that pigmented so if you want you can put in another layer of a powder shimmer shadow so that it kind of like pops more but alone this one it's not going to pop more and also like as you can see here that it has just given me a one thin layer of just a little bit of sparkliness and that's it so i'm just going to blend the edges a little bit try to at least because liquid shadows are really really hard to blend so i'm not going to blend too much because it's going to blend away or else so i'm just going to blend a little bit So this is how my eyes are looking as you can see there is still a little bit of sparkle going on i think i'll keep it at here today but if i'm going out and about i will put this and i'll put a shimmer on top because i know that way it's going to pop out more so for today i'm just going to leave it like this and i'm going to apply a mascara and then we can move on to the lips I applied some lashes and also lined my lips with this Wet n Wild lip liner in chestnut. Now I'm going to use this inside lipstick and it's in the shade 15 terracotta. So now this lipstick I have used for 
quite some time now and I really do like it it's like a very pretty brown so I'm going to use this it's like a brown nude kind of lipstick and it has a little bit of creamy finish to it so this is how the lipstick looks like as I said I really do love this lipstick a lot very very comfortable to wear and also if you are someone who has dark uh, you know skin or if you have a uh, dusky skin tone you are going to love this as a nude shade uh, so this is how my makeup turned out now I do have the last product to test out and this is the spray this is the makeup fixer spray from insight and this is a long lasting makeup fixer non sticky and refreshes so let's see how this works I have not tried anything from uh, this range uh, any makeup spray from this range I have a makeup uh, setting spray which is from Girard cosmetics so I would like to see how this uh, sits on my skin uh, so I'll just put this well the spray was a little harsh but it wasn't that bad to be very honest but <coughs> The scent of this is not really good at all. It just, it's a lot. So if you have sensitive skin, I don't think so. This you're going to love this spray because it has a lot of scent, and it smells like a little alcoholy type of thing. So I really don't know if you're going to love this if you have sensitive skin. But other than that, I mean the the uh, setting spray does look good. I mean it does. It, makes my makeup more dewy so i don't know what to say but the mist was quite fine so if you're looking for maybe a very cheap setting spray you might like this so that was everything uh, for today's video as you can see this is how my face turned out and uh, okay so for the roundup i really do love the foundation you guys know that the concealer was actually not that bad i might use this again and i'll see how this looks with other foundations and stuff so really not that bad uh and then what did we uh use um so the contour stick which i don't know where it is oh yeah the contour stick i like it okay i don't know if i'm using the contour again because it kind of leaves a pink undertone but i see but the highlight oh my god yes i'm going to use the highlight again and again i really love the formula it was very very creamy and it was very undetectable on the face which personally i am down for so i really like the highlighter i do did like the glitter kind of a topper liquid eyeshadow uh, but I do have to say I will have to work this out with other shimmer products and we'll see how this works with other shimmer products for now. It was a, quite a hit and then the setting spray. I don't like the setting spray because of the scent. It is too much. But the mist was quite fine and it does make my makeup look good. So I really did like the setting, that aspect of the setting spray. And lastly, uh, you guys know I love this concealer too. And what was, is there anything left? Um, I think I, I think I talked about everything, right? From this range. Yeah, so that was everything for today's video. I know this video is like so long, but I love doing these kinds of makeup with you guys so that you guys can see how this looks on my skin. And I really love how this turned out, this look turned out to be. So thank you so much for watching. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and if you're new, I would love to hit the subscribe button. Join this little YouTube family that I have. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.